In Watamu, Kenya, the world's largest spitting cobra has been discovered at the Bioken snake farm. The nine-foot highly poisonous snake produces a record-breaking amount of venom. He'll try and spit at one of us. Actually, if you can see, I'm holding him quite gently there, but I do want to be careful. Named Naja Ash after James Ash, founder of the Bioken snake farm, it's recognized as a new species. The discovery of the giant spitting cobra makes conservationists concerned about other snake species that are undiscovered or lost as habitats disappear and the environment is destroyed. Roy Taylor, director of Bioken, has been working with snakes here for years. This specimen was collected on Friday. In fact, it was on Friday that through Wildlife Direct as a platform and Dr. Richard Leakey, we were able to actually tell the whole world about this species. A variety of cobra species are able to spit their venom over a distance of several feet. The spray is directed at the eyes of an aggressor so the snake can escape. The venom is extremely painful. Eyes must be washed out immediately with lots of water and if ignored, blindness can occur. Sometimes no first aid is the best first aid that you can give. This does not mean abandon your patient and forget about him. What it means is do not tamper with the bite site. No scrubbing or cleaning of the wound which you would very many cases do with an animal bite from perhaps a mammal. At Bioken, research is conducted on reptiles, specifically snakes and snake bites, to create anti-venom. So the people who work with the production of anti-venom and with the medical research work that goes on, they in the white coats, they don't want to play with snakes. So that's where we come into it. We will produce that, we will get it to them, and then they can do their work with it. Biocan is open to the general public and anyone wanting to learn more about snakes is welcome. For people who are residents and the local community, we allow them to come in here free of charge. The reason for that is we want them to learn the different snakes so at least that they can identify. And one of the great things that has happened here in Watamu, where we are, is that the local people have actually got names for all the different common species that they have. Biocan offers a free remove-a-snake service for locals. Snakes removed from a property are relocated to the wild or brought back to the farm for study. It's through research centers like this one that people can learn to coexist with animals like these. Right, I'm going to put that back because he really is quite difficult to hold. If you can give me a hand, take that one back. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, let go. Just grab the door.